In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create four business rules slide in PowerPoint. This is how the slide works. When I click, rule number one will come and then the rule number two, rule number three and rule number four. I have created only four rules. You can add as many as you want uh, provided the space is available. And if you can see here the rule number one, you can just type your rule here and if you have any icons, you can add the icons here. Similarly, you can do for the rule three and four and apart from that one i have just given some shadow effect here so it's giving a, a different uh, look and feel so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint welcome to my youtube channel os vfx please like subscribe and share my channel add a new slide go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle and make the height as 1.5 inches shape outline no outline and we can change the color later on and then I'm just going to add this effect here for that go to insert shapes select oval shape I'm just going to draw a oval shape hold the shift key while dragging the oval shape so that it comes in a perfect uh, height and width okay and I'm just going to change some different color make it no outline and I'm going to cut the oval into half for that I'm going to insert shape select the rectangle again draw the rectangle just cut the rectangle to half you can see that it's half here select the circle and the rectangle then go to merge shapes say subtract you can see that one half circle is there now or you can use instead of that one you can use something which is the partial circle as well now go to insert again shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle maybe till here as usual make it no outline and go to format shape under effects shadows select something which is offset right just increase the distance and maybe you can somewhat blur it now to hide this particular rectangle i'm just going to add one more rectangle maybe till here all right and i'm just going to give the same color and make it no outline so you can see that is uh, hidden here now before uh, you have to do do this one just you have to make sure that you have to change the color first so that you know you don't have to do the work again and again so for this i'm just going to fill i'm going to use some something called the gradient fill here and let me just use two stops only for this i'm going to use a color this color make transparency as zero and this color I'm just going to make some lighter color and this also transparency to this one now if you see here these two colors are not matching for this also I'm just going to select this and go to fill color use the eyedropper and just select this color all right so and this orange is not visible so we can use some contrasting colors I'm just going to use some um, yellow for this one you can add the text now for that I'm going to use a text box and I'll just type rule in capital letters or if you want you can make it in small letters and um, for this I'm going to use a font called Oswald if you don't have the font you have to download this font let me just bring it here make it white and increase the size sorry and just place it here and apart from that one i'll just press ctrl d i have to use the number rule number one and for this also i'm just bringing it on top of this color maybe this is not clearly visible so i can use some different color here 
will be somewhat this color so this is my rule number one and then press ctrl D just reduce the size and you have to type your rule here type your first business rule here some spelling mistake business rule here and then if you have the icons you can have it I'm just going to copy it here or you can go to the nonproject.com and you can get all your icons here alright so this is my first rule and now I'm going to add the shadow effect for that I'm going to use one more rectangle make it no outline increase the size little bit and then I'm going to use a gradient fill for this I'm going to use three stops the first stop will be my somewhat dark color the second stop will be somewhat lighter color and the third stop will be a white color with 100% transparency and just you can just turn like this you can bring it here and you can go to effects and here in the soft edges you can make it maybe a four point size and then if you want further maybe you can increase the transparency level all right and then just say send to back you can see the effect here already so let me just bring it here all right I'll increase the size all right so this is my rule number one which is uh, almost ready you can see here for this I'm just going to copy everything and I can group it and then I can just press ctrl D I can bring it here again just say send to back all right and then if you just change the the color for this one now we have to use some different color for this one for that again I am going to select and change the colors maybe I'll use some lighter colors here I can just reduce the size and for this also you have to just come as usual use the eyedropper and select this color here maybe let me just change the color here somewhat darker and this I will increase the transparency level like this all right yes so this is perfectly all right now so this is my rule number one and this is my rule number two and you can first of all let me just ungroup this so that I can increase remove this move this a little bit here sorry all right so this is my rule number two here and then again I'm just going to copy this whole press ctrl D and bring it here so before that one I have to just move this shadow which is here and I can just go to format I can simply rotate flip horizontal you can see I'll bring it here all right and then I can simply come and group it again similarly you have to do for the same thing here this is 3 just say send to back and then you have to add one more which is rule number 4 for this I'm just going to select this one 
press control D and just say send to back. It's time to change the color for this. I'm going to give some different color here. Maybe I can use some dark purple and here I can use some light purple here. The same thing goes for this. This will be a different color. And then you have to just change the color pattern for this as well. Change the color to match the background color. And change the rule number. This will be 3. And this will be 4. And apart from that one, we'll give the animation effect now. First of all, you have to make sure that this is all grouped together. Let me just see whether it's grouped here. It's there. Yeah. Right. Now I'm just going to give the animation here. Go to animation, animation pane. Select the animation fly in and just say from right. Increase the smooth start and bounce end. Alright. And then I'm just going to select the animation painter. I'm going to paint it everywhere. This one will be from left and this one will be from right. So let's see how it is. One two three and this will will be from left one two three and four this thing I can just make it after previous so once click one two three and four and then you can just add the title here so that's it from me friends uh, once you have done this one this will look something like this so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel OS VFX. see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel OS VFX. see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye